where they say it's like no, no qualified men or, or why do these one? One thing that I'll be peeping that be common is be having a resume full of bad relationships. <laughs> like, like ain't held the right down yet. And so what that tells me is your ability to choose is already sketchy to say the least. Uh oh. You know, let me address this real quick. I I'm going to let the rest of the video play, but he's calling women B-I-T-C-H's and he's talking about how you got a resume full of bad relationships that you don't know how to pick. No, where would they learn how to pick? First of all, this becomes a vicious cycle where father uh, abandons them in the home and then creates this push-pull relationship where he's always perpetually unavailable or just not there, flaky not showing up, or mistreating the mama or mistreating the children. That's why he doesn't show up. Where are they going to learn how to pick? People have to go out there and date and try and learn and do some internal work and self-healing. But he's like... Yeah, you talk about how you can't find a good man, but you got a stream of bad relationships and you don't know how to pick. Where are they going to learn? They want girls who are 18 to 22. Damn it, you ain't had a chance to date. Remember, one of the guys that was on this show right here said he's looking for a girl who's 18. Fucking love young women. <laughs> <laughs> You're 33. I'm 33 years old. Two years ago, she was 16. Where the hell was she going to learn how to pick a man? Come on. The right down yet. And so what that tells me is your ability to choose is already sketchy, to say the least. Uh oh. So wh whatever whatever grading system you got over there, you keep passing failing students. So I don't even think I need to I don't even think I need to fuck around over there for real, for real. And people are paying money to go there and get this bad ass advice. Listen, I need an event planner to contact me and I need you all to tell me who are the best and brightest in the relationship space so that I can create a panel of intelligent people with intelligent, helpful discourse to come up onto a stage. Because like, the people, you see the people's faces in the damn audience. She's like, what is this that I'm hearing? There, for real, for real. Look at her face. She's like, this can't be for real. Did I really pay to get into this mess? Yet you're giving up your money to go into these spaces with people who are not really there to help you. Why are we asking and beseeching help from people who have not demonstrated that they have done the internal work and do not have healthy relationships for which they're speaking of? Come on. Like You ain't got one good one in your resume for real? You mean your whole little relationship career, like all of it bad, bro? Because... It, it, it got to be a situation like that to where you don't have enough good to blanket all of somebody. You feel me? Like, like, bro, it's you really have to look at what has happened. To, and it's not to say that people didn't do you wrong, but you have to look at what's happened to you. If you've been corrupted to the point that you have a bias that blankets all of the people that you claim you still want to attract. Oh, my gosh. Listen, they want women who are inexperienced and impressionable and young who have not had other partners for which to compare what a good or bad relationship is like. Why does she need to be impressionable? If a woman wants to respect you and give you the, the respect to lead and be her partner, why do you need to have that level of power over her if you're not trying to manipulate someone? See, it's not power. It's, it's impressionable. Well, impressionable is basically getting someone to do what you want them to do because they're easily swayed and easily persuaded to do what you want them to do. Who said that? Did you make that up? Well, I like, when, when you, when you Listen, anyone who's dated has relationships that didn't work out. That's the nature of the beast. We have to stop encouraging people to stay in relationships that aren't working. And we have to equip people with the tools to be able to decipher what is right for you in a relationship from qualified people. We are constantly going to people that have no earthly idea of what it is that they're talking about in terms of healthy relationship or healthy self-love. I'm a self-love specialist. And what we have is we have so many people who are just failing. They're just failing. They didn't stand a chance. They came out their mother's house with the programming for dysfunction. They don't know. How is she going to know who to choose without trial and error? I remember when I was 13, 
the criteria that I thought made a guy a good person to be interested in is that he had a bubble goose. A bubble goose is one of those goose down jackets that are very plump and, and, and full with feathers. This is when I was 13. What did I know what to look for? Look, this was way, 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 way back in the days when light skin was still in. And so I was looking for a person who had light eyes and a bubble goose. I thought that's what made you a guy that was good, worth interest. And then as I grew and I got to know people who had bubble goose and I realized, oh, that's not it. Light eyes, oh, that wasn't it either. And then I had to do trial and error. I didn't know. Even with the tutelage of my father in the same home, I did not know. You can only know by going out there and living, lived experience. You can get the blueprint on the periphery, but you won't know exactly what to look for until you go and get that lived experience. But far too many modern men don't want modern women to have experience and then make complaints about a woman not knowing who to choose. Okay, well, we can tell them what's the right criteria to choose and what to look out for, but each situation is unique. You ever been in a situation where you're like, I wish this will happen to me again because then I'll know exactly what to do. And then it never happens to you just the same way ever again. So it's like we can tell people, but every situation is nuanced. You have to learn by going in and seeing, seeing what the cause and effect is. A plus B equals what? And then you learn. Even I, as I date, I am still learning things about myself. I got caught in a relationship with a person who was avoidant. And I thought the person was joking. I didn't realize they were dead ass serious. Because I have so much self-love that I'm like, oh, this person is obviously underinformed. He'll come around. No, he won't come around. He won't come around. He won't. He honestly, truly does feel the way that he is saying that he feels. It's not funny. Don't take it for joke. Even to this day, I am still learning. And this is the nature of life. I know that there will be people who will make fun of me for still learning, but that's because you make fun of yourself for still learning. And you have got to learn to love yourself enough to stop criticizing other people for living. Empathy. Understanding what this life is really about. That there's trials and tribulations in each one of our lives. But these men are expecting us to be their God. You are supposed to be faultless, blameless, and know how to do everything right from jump. You're supposed to come out like the Madonna virgin whore. You never had intercourse, but you know how to flip it, smack it, suck it down. Get swallowed up. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? <laughs> You're supposed to know how to do all of that with no experience. I don't even know what to say on this. Leave your comments below. Leave your comments below. That's right. Learning is all a part of the journey. When you stop learning, you stop living. And that's when it's time to go six feet under. <laughs> so listen, congratulate yourself for continuing to learn. That's what this is what the life journey is about. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.